I don't, you know, just Hi everyone, it's you your out. favorite fangirl, Jinju. I'm here with Blake Lewis. Hello. He, he performed an awesome show last night, and he agreed to answer a few questions for me for my little fangirl files. So, say hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Konnichiwa. Annyeong. I don't know what that means. That's Korean for hello. Yeah. We just learned something fun. Yeah. Okay, we should probably get started because I'm sure Maddie is probably... Oh, and we got Maddie on camera. Um, so, okay, so let's start. What is your favorite song that you've written? Mm. That's tough. That's like uh, every album has a favorite song mm -hmm. that you write. And they're all kind of our, you know, children, every song that you write. I, for my first album, it'd be A Thousand Miles. For my second album... Uh, Heartbreak on Vinyl for my I third album. Thank you. Um, my last album, I would have to say that Not Today or Survivor are my favorite ones because they mean a lot to me. So it can't be just one. All right, I have to check some of those out because I have to admit I wasn't familiar with you until last night. Well, I'm glad we have gotten familiar. Me too. <laughs> okay, so who are your musical influences? Oh my goodness. Um, from when I was a kid listening to my parents' albums on vinyl, I would have to say that I grew up listening to a lot of cool folk-driven bluegrass stuff, because my mom was a bluegrass artist. Um, but I grew up listening to Michael Jackson. As did I. Uh, the Police, I'm a huge Sting fan. Um, Duran Duran. Oh. And um, from then on, when I found my own, like, I mean, that was stuff that I liked when I was, you know, like, a child. Mm -hmm. And then I gravitated to, but, and, and like Chuck Berry and like, um, so much music. A lot of the 80s synth pop. Oh, yeah. And then in the 90s. You're a synth pop fan. I'm so just shocked. Really? <laughs> totally. That, she's not shocked. Um, so but in the 90s, it, like, it became even more uh, eclectic in the sense that I got into all electronic music. So I was into uh, drum and bass and jungle and the London sound, uh, the Chemical Brothers, BT, uh, house music, and that R&B sound, like when Boys to Men 2 came out, mm -hmm. Cooley High Harmony. Yeah. and that kind of stuff um, and acapella music and jazz and so that would I would say that would be my 90s so I was like Harry Connick Jr. Three, I love Harry Connick Jr. Yeah 311 mm -hmm. uh, acapella music um, and then hardcore glitchy like jungle and drum and bass and IDM because um, that's when around that time like 97 I found beatboxing and so that kind of changed everything. So The Roots, Tribe Called Quest, you know, Dougie Fresh, all that stuff. And, and now I'm just kind of all over the place, all over the map. I love all music. And I grew up playing classical well, piano. If, so. if you, since you like drum and, bre drum and bass, I can't even talk anymore. I'm going to plug a local artist who was actually one of my instructors in culinary school. His stage name is Logam, L-O-G-A-M. And his... Record company is Santuku, Santoku Records. Cool. Check him out. He's amazing. He would play it. He would play some of his music when we were cooking in the kitchen, and it's cool. pretty cool. Awesome. Yeah. Logan, I'll check him out. Yep. Okay. So, what is your favorite album of all time? Oh man. If you can pick one. It's between two. It's either Michael Jackson Bad or Michael Jackson Thriller. Thriller. Um, My first celebrity crush was Michael Jackson. Yeah. Uh, Quincy Jones. He's a legend, and yes. Michael Jackson legend. They yes. made two legendary albums. That so, they did. Um, but, you know, 89, was it 89 for bad? Or maybe mm. it was 87. Um, but that was like, you know, I was, I was like eight. And that yeah. was the one, you know what I mean? Every song. And talking about like eclectic pop, like he do everything in a different yes. genre. He, you know, do a Spanish song, do, you know, mm. Dirty Diana's like metal, you know, like that, you yeah. know. 80s kind of metal sound and mm -hmm. it was still all Michael all day um, so a lot of that is Quincy Jones but a lot of that is Michael too so yeah cool what is your favorite song to perform oh man 
It depends, because there's a moment in my show where I bring people on stage and I get to sample them, yeah. and I make a song out of their voices, so... That is so fun. That's like, some, some nights, it's amazing, and it will be my favorite moment of the night, because you never know, some person will give me some fun quip to sample, and then it's just like, uh, 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 you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, like last night was fun. Yeah, it turned out well, and it's I closed the show with that. And I never closed the show with that. I used usually like the third, fourth song in. That was awesome. But songs that I like to perform that are mine, it really depends on the night and the energy of the room. Mm -hmm. But um, either thousand miles or how many words? Maybe I don't know. That's so tough. That's tough. You okay. know. Fair enough. All right, finally. My favorite song is whatever favorite song is yours. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my, mine was Heartbreak on Vinyl. Yeah. Then that was my favorite song. All right. Okay, so the last question is, if you could perform with one person, living or dead, who would it be and why? I'm guessing Michael Jackson. I mean, yeah. I mean, that wouldn't it be? Wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't um, it be? Yeah. I mean, there's also Ella Fitzgerald, which would be Oh, dope. yeah. I would love to do like a jazz song with her. That'd be, mm -hmm. that'd be pretty freaking killer. I mean, there's so many, so many. But yeah, MJ, come on. Yeah. So before before we sign off, my friend Ashley lives in Seattle, and she's actually been a fan of yours since American Idol. Could you say hi to Ashley? Hi, Ashley. Why aren't you here? You should be here with your friend. See? See? I told you this. But we miss you. You do. We wish you were here. We do. We really do wish you were here. You would have had so much fun. It's okay. true. Do you have any closing remarks? I hope I get to meet more fans like yourself uh, to change your mind about the mysteries of the voice. Awesome. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I don't know, but it sounded awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Ginger out.